It's the emotional moment two Ukrainian women had been waiting weeks for. Reunions with their loved ones outside an ICE detention center in Louisiana. Olena seeing her fiance Max for the first time since fleeing Ukraine and crossing the southern border. No one was expecting them to be in a jail for 18 days. Now their first meal together in the U.S. Max lives here. Olena came to apply for asylum and was taken into custody by Border Patrol. The fact that we couldn't communicate, we didn't know where they are, they couldn't hear anything from us, that was, that was the hardest thing. Elena said during her time inside this ICE facility, about 100 Russian and Ukrainian women came through. And she says many are still inside. Ukrainian women like Victoria, who's now reunited with her husband Vitaly. Her sister-in-law says she was traumatized after escaping war and then being treated like a prisoner. Were you hungry? <laughs> Do they feel welcomed into the United States? Not really. President Biden has committed to bringing over 100,000 Ukrainian refugees, but immigration lawyers say many are choosing to cross illegally in hopes of getting to the U.S. faster. There's not an option for seeking immediate safety here in the United States at a time where we've seen so many other countries step up. Olena and Victoria now wait to have their asylum claim heard by a judge. ICE says that it makes detention decisions case by case, regardless of nationality. And according to internal ICE data, over 120 Ukrainians were in custody as of last week. But it's likely to grow. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.